Hello, my dear viewers, and welcome back to Review Team 3, or RT3. I am your host, Master CC Trainerling, and today's review has been brought to you by Trey Blase Magazine. They make sure that you always stay fashionable and have you avoid the squeaky shoes. With okay. me today, I have my trusty and very happy-go-lucky co-hosts. First, we have... We have the... And I am using the power of meditation. And we also have... Hello everybody, it is I, level 12 mage, Downloads Bacon, here at this convention trying out new things like, you know, largest level pet shop action figures, limited edition of course. Choose your episode. Go figure. And now that we know which episode we shall be looking at, it is time for us to check it out. Check it out! Today's episode is Go Figure. The plot here is Blythe sets up a vendor table at ZapperCon to sell pet cosplays to raise money for scooter repairs, and her pet models Sumil and Vinny get lost in the convention hall with Vinny being put up for auction after being mistaken for a rare action figure. At the day camp, Minka tries to become more zen and wants a day camper named Master Hop to train her in the ways of zen, but this praying mantis only sees potential in Russell, the latter of whom not wanting to be bothered. Now then, let us move on to our first positive, Minka. To me, Minka was very, very... No, what the heck am I talking about? Minka was one of the best pets of this whole episode. Having it be a Minka-focused plot, at least for the majority of it, was very well appreciated. She hasn't had a lot of attention this season, and I think this episode is really good for her character, at least in developing that over-eccentric craziness that she's been showing during the past three seasons. Having her go a little zen, like we kind of had it sort of hinted at back in season two's episode, Palm Reader, you know, a little bit of a throwback there, even though it wasn't fully accomplished, but now she's really taking it seriously. Yes, I guess you can say, at least she's trying to find inner peace. Yeah, I can relate to her inner peace. But Minka was so fabulous in this episode. She was all calm, but crazy. It was nice. I really liked it. Yeah, something that I was noticing is that, I don't know, Minka in this episode, she was really, I guess, dialed up to a little bit to 11, which is still good. I don't mind her, her energetic ways. But seeing Master Hop doing his thing, she actually was able to sit still, even though two episodes ago, she was saying how she can't stay still for a while. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Well, I can relate to Minka, as I like to admire the senseis or the masters. And another thing I really liked about Minka in this one was just how she pronounced yogurt. Or yogurt. Or yoga. Oh, yoga. See, she already learned something. Throws it away. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's got to be kind of sweet, you know. Make it just has banana flavored yogurt. I guess the pet shop provides that too. I, I have absolutely nothing wrong to say about Minka in this one because it makes a change to get a different pet that isn't <laughs> him. Calm, <laughs> calm, calm down, calm down, Fiend. There's plenty of time for that later. Of yes. course. So relax yes. while we move on to our next positive. The Biscuit Twins. The Biscuit Twins. Three episodes in a row, they've been probably the best, if not the first best or the second best thing in the episode. When the Biscuit Twins came on screen, I, I was like, yes! Another episode with the Biscuit Twins. I wonder what they're going to do. What what thing they're going to say. What fourth wall break they might do. You know, what kid will they f*** with since, you know, when they were talking to Blythe, uh, I believe it was Brittany, it was, like, this kid was, like, annoying her, so she got his toy and just threw it. That was so cray. It's not that cray. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed the Biscuit Twins this year because we got a lot of funny moments with them, especially when they were doing the bidding. And uh, the facial expressions, and I like Whitney's rage when Brittany accidentally went too far with the bin. So, Brittany, we weren't supposed to win! <laughs> but I, I hate losing. 
<laughs> I think the biscuits really helped this episode. Because if it wasn't for them, I feel like this one would definitely not be as good. They added some great conflict to the plot, and well, they were funny as well, so they were enjoyable to watch. Biscuits wins provided a lot of comedy, provided the conflict, you know, provided the best moments and the best facial expressions in the episode by far. So short and sweet, Biscuit Twins were awesome. Helped the episode become better than what it could have been. I don't know what it was. Yeah, them helping out with the conflict. But it wasn't just them that helped make that conflict happen. Vinny and Sunil, wandering off, also helped aid and aid in the beginning of that conflict. Those two happen to be our next positives. Well, positive, yes. if you want to combine them together. Because really, one really just can't be without the other. Yeah, the chemistry that these two have is just really awesome. Because again, in the first season, Vinny just kind of, uh, but pair him up with Sunil, and it's always, always good. You know? I don't agree with that. I feel their little bromance kind of reminds me of Shopla and Joey's bromance and friends. And I love, I just love the two this little duo thing that Finny and Sunil have going on. So I, I love seeing it, and it always adds for some great comedy, and well, some really good moments with them just being them and being awesome and acting great. The Lizard of Legend and sidekick that will be named later. It should have oh, been El wow. Cobra Cabra. Well, that could have worked. We just, we just conveniently forgot about El Cobra Cabra. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I thought his name was Super Sunio. That was actually the title of the episode. Yeah. So his name was El Cobra Cabra. And second path. Pandemonium. <laughs> we could have had Penny Link play a part in this plot. Yeah, they've all had superhero costumes before. But I, uh, but I guess as of this episode, they just don't exist. Yeah. Of course, Vinny and Sunil, I mean, them together is great. The comic book, well, the comic convention, or whatever it is, con that they went to. Sabacon. Sabacon. Yeah. It's always cool to see them together. And, of course, Sunil knocking out Vinny with the single blow from his mighty knuckles. Eh. Other than the fact that we know that Sunil has an unusual amount of belly button fuzz. <laughs> something I didn't know, is something I didn't need to know. I found the way he said it really funny. Yeah, just say it, don't show it. <laughs> uh, I thought that was nice. It's like, I got all this belly button puff, like, <laughs> must smell nasty. And then, like, if it's there and he's throwing it on the floor, and then it blows up, and then it goes on someone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. Disgusting. Well, now it's time. That is gross. Well, now it's time for the next positive end. You know what, Bacon? How about you take this one? Okay, this might sound a little weird, especially coming from me, but I actually saw Russell as a positive in this episode. Bear with me here. I, I kind of like Russell in this episode because, you know, he saw that Minka was depressed or, you know, got really sad on the idea that Master Hop didn't want to train her or didn't want anything to do with her. So I kind of like how he was like, fine, you can train me. But, you know, you gotta train Minka also. Because, uh, again, Russell could have either A, said, okay, fine, you can train me, and then does the whole montage without Minka. Minka's just there in the corner depressed. <laughs> or we could have just had, you know, Russell always keeps saying no, and then Minka never gets any real character development. And, well, because if you look at it from just this episode alone, it's really good from the giant batch of Russell episodes that we got this. This is definitely one of his stronger appearances, in my opinion. <laughs> but that, other than that, yeah, I, other than that little moment, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting pretty tired of seeing Russell. Yeah, aren't we all getting tired of seeing the favorite? Well, this is his 11th episode where he has some focus on either the A or B plot, or maybe C, depending on what episode. But yeah. He just wants to take over. Yes, now it's time for those negatives. You know, with how many episodes Russell is getting, I really just expect him to have this ability with his, like, right hand to, like, stab one of the pets, and then it transforms that pet into him. Kind of like in The Matrix. <laughs> me, me, me. Turns into Russell. I think that Russell's actually hypnotizing them with his clip. Yes. Make sure I get the most episodes. Yuck. <laughs> That's yeah, it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's like, this episode would be way better, but we have to take into account of what season it is, and it's season four, the season of Russell, so it kind of hurts this episode in the season that it's in. And I know that sounds weird, but we've had Russell, like, he played some role in the last episode, and then he was a major point in Steam, so I'm um, just... It's a shame that this episode was, you know, good on Russell's end, but it's just... 
kind of getting tired of seeing him, though. Again, I'm repeating myself, but that's it. It's just, we can't, like all the other pets, excluding Vinny and Sunil, we're just kind of there. They're just sitting on the couch watching this whole thing happen, or sitting on that chair. And that's the real sad part of this episode. It could have been anybody. It could have been Zoe, it could have been Pepper. Hey, it could even have been Penny Lane for all we know. But it had to be Russell. Why? Because with Sunil and Vinny gone, you gotta have at least one other male pet to, you know, at least aid I'm... in the spotlight, and it just conveniently had to be Russell. I mean, come on. You can't have, uh, you know, have an episode by herself. It probably could have been different if, it, if Russell was not involved, and Minka is just trying to get Master Hop to train her, but Master Hop just simply refuses. And, you know, Minka had to show him that she wanted to be trained, and that could have probably convinced Master Hop to, you know, train her under his own will. What the heck would douchebag Angel has to take over his stupid prickly face? What an absolute prick. He wants to take over the pet shop with his evil demonic green eyes. He just wants to get everyone to write his lists. Lists right now, right now lists. He doesn't want any pet to be in the spotlight other than him. He's just so, so evil that he will just stop at nothing until he's the only pet that gets an episode this season. <laughs> It's frightening to hear coming from you. <laughs> I was just imagining Russell like, oh, there's the episode's about to start, and it's like, it turns out it's about like uh, Minka and Penny Ling. <laughs> Russell just goes up to Penny Ling, or one of them is just like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, um, I'm gonna be in this episode. No, I'm gonna be in this episode. What? <laughs> Bring it back to mouth that puts them somewhere, and then that's when they come out, oh, like, life comes, oh, where's Penny Ling? I thought she was going to be in this episode. No, she said I can have her part. I told you, baby. I told you, Cece. It's been to be alive. They'll possess everyone. Let's see, life's already under the spell. She keeps letting him do whatever he wants. It will stop at nothing until the season is, it's the season of Russell, and in fact, the show will be changed to Little as Russell. Shut sure. <laughs> Can you imagine him singing the You think about all the things that you love to do With me like, it's true <laughs> <laughs> You know what favorite that you wanna be Just be me and not you <laughs> You can't be what you wanna be Except the favorite Point <laughs> 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 he is just pulling the, the rights He's already possessed them all <laughs> He's even possessing guest pets Like Master Hop here yeah. Usually I like a lot of the day campers in this show, but he is on the list of some of the worst day campers that have ever entered that room. Just by the mere fact of him just not wanting to train Minka, just because of her eccentricness, doesn't really seem like the wise thing to do. I mean, obviously he's going for the for the wise old man sage kind of uh, persona, and uh. usually from what I've seen in a lot of other forms of media that will involve a sage, they will take anyone under their wing if they are that wanting to learn from the master, and he doesn't really stand by that whole, you know, I guess, uh, I guess that was the word, um, archetypal sage that you would read about, and he only wants to go for Russell, just, just because he's sitting there all quiet and calm and reading a comic book. What about all the other pets? The pets are sitting there all calm and whatnot. Aren't they zen enough to, for his training? Or something like that? Make us the only one like, that he wouldn't want to train? He's like, no. Oh. Uh, I only train dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that honestly wouldn't surprise me if you only wanted to train male pets or any, or, you know, anyone who's not female. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, female pets, they can't find their focus because they're too busy on their phones or messing with their nails or their, uh, you know. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, Other they're, lady things. Yeah, I, I was like, everything that I was thinking of, I was just like, no, I can't say that. No, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> or like, He's like, oh, I wonder who I can train. Oh, Penny Ling is fat. Zoe is a b Pepper's a skunk. Yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. Leaves. He comes back into the room, sees Russell. Yes. I have found the chosen one. I think I want to add to this. Alright. I feel like... Uh, let's talk about Master. I mean, Hop. Um, how he only wants to train Russell the s. A lot of people. But he will only want to train Russell, despite Minka wanting to be trained. And I don't think Master Hop makes a good master, because don't masters usually, you know, train people who are not very good at said thing that they're supposed to be the master of? Yeah. yeah well, shouldn't he want to have the challenge? Yeah. yeah. 
But he just seemed to think that, well, Russell has skills in concentration, yet Minka doesn't. So what? Russell basically already knew everything that he was going to be taught, so I don't understand why they just he decided to, oh, no, I like Australia Russell, but not Minka, someone who could actually be a student, who could actually be trained, rather than, you know, just doing what he already knows, because the guy, he claims to be a master, he's not a, he's not a very good master. Go Figure is an episode where you know you want to like a lot of the good things about it, like Minka and the Biscuits, which I really do like, but there's just too many negatives and nitpicks that just really bring the episode down. It is an average episode, so definitely it's not the best one you'll ever see. Russell, Master Hop, they, they really brought it down. I, I just wish it could have been some other, but besides Russell and Master Hop could have actually stuck to that archetypal sage character that, that usually you see in all forms of media, but I guess that's not what they were going for in this episode. But other than that, and the idea of no one seeing Sunil draw on Vinny on that podium at the auction when they're staring him right in the face, it was still nice seeing Vinny and Sunil, you know, interacting together like the bros they are, getting, in, in, getting into their little adventure together getting lost, potentially having Vinny being sold to the Biscuits, hilarious, and of course Blythe willing to sacrifice her money or her scooter repair funds just to buy back her own pet slash friend. So that is very commendable, even though she paid a dollar for him, hey, everything worked out for the best on her. So overall, go figure. I would recommend it if you're a huge Minka fan, but if you're a Russell hater, you'll probably want to avoid this one for at least a little while. But other than that, it's average at best. So I'll give go figure a 7 out of 10. Okay, on to my final thoughts. Well, I like this episode a lot. It's it's got some good moments. It's nice to see another pet who is actually take over the plot. Because it's it's nice to see um, Minka especially, since Minka has in, in the whole series in general actually lacks quite a lot of episodes. Like she doesn't really have that many episodes to herself or or just episodes in general that she's actually a main focus. And this one finally gave us a main focus episode on Minka, which is great, and I really enjoy seeing my favorite little monkey. It's cute. And this episode also had Vinny and Sneal. I always like seeing those two together, so that's awesome. And Biscuit Twins being biscuity in the best possible way. Uh, the only things I really just didn't like about this one was, was Russell. Ugh. And Master Holt. He was just a bit, eh. So, um, also let's see in the other pets in this one, the Pepper Bee and Pepper Ray. Uh, I like her interactions with Minka. I mean, she was just sort of telling her not to use the, uh, the, like, the bowling pins and stuff. That was weird. Interesting. I like seeing Minka and Pepper together. Uh, well, Zoe was just sort of there, and so was Benny. They were great, but overall they didn't really add as much to the plot. But they, they did a good job, I guess. Okay, so overall thoughts here. My final score, I'm gonna give this one an, an 8.57. It's pretty good, not the best, but it has a lot of good things in it. If you can look past Russell and Master Hulk being a little bit weird and stuff, yeah. So overall for me, this is probably one of the best Lizard's Pet Shop episodes, at least for this season. It's a shame that Russell is just so overexposed in this season because this is a really good episode. I love Minka and I love the Biscuit Twins. They are the saving graces. Other than the humor being spot on, and I love it so much. This it was probably one of the best episodes, again I keep gushing about it, but it was good in its approach and what it wanted to do. While Master Hop is not that good of a guest pet, I did like the idea that Minka wanted to go then. I thought that was pretty cool. Minka's my favorite character and seeing this character grow through character development is awesome. But basically everything else has been said. So overall for me, I'm going to give this episode a 9.5 out of 10 great episode. And so, my dear viewers, thus concludes our review of Go Figure. Be sure to tune in next time for our next review from the final season of Littlest Pet Shop. Which episode shall we be looking at, you may ask? Well, it goes by the name of Aaliyah Rose by Another Name. Be sure to check it out. But until next time, this has been CC Trainer Ling. Be and downloads. 
Bacon. And this has been RT3 or Review Team 3. And we shall be seeing you next time. So, until we meet again, peace out, home slices. Cheerio, darling. And of course, Pet Shoppers, we'll be seeing you and you in the next episode. So thanks, and stay with me now. Thanks again. But Master! But Master, I thought I could be the chosen one. <laughs> Master! <laughs> Worst review ever. <laughs> <laughs>